This demo is the counterpart with an SSD of my demo of the performance of BFQ with an hard disk. Also this demo is made of three parts. The first is about responsiveness, the second about latency for software time applications and the third about throughput. In the first two parts, the performance of BFQ is compared against only that of CFQ, since the latter is currently the best Linux scheduler in terms of latency. Finally, as a background workload, in this demo we use, for simplicity and brevity, only raw sequential readers, that is, processes reading blocks sequentially and directly from the device. As for reads or writes with regular files, with these workloads the relative performance of BFQ with respect to the other schedulers is, in most cases, even better than with only raw reads. See, for example, my previous demo with an hard disk. In the main window we start applications, whereas in the three windows in the middle we start background workloads, switch between I.O. schedulers and show the current scheduler. Finally, in the monitor at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, we show the current throughput of the SSD, whose recorded peak rate is about 500 megabytes per second. As for the first part of the demo, about responsiveness, we begin by starting non terminal repeatedly with call caches and without any background workload. For each invocation we measure and report the startup time of the application. Below this value we report also the pre-computed average startup time of the application, which is about 200 milliseconds. We use the letter value as a reference in the following scenarios where an additional background workload is executed in parallel with the invocation of the terminal. In these scenarios, IO schedulers do come into play. As a first example, we start just one reader and we see that with CFQ, startup times become about 10 times as high as when the device was idle. If <coughs> we add another reader, then startup times become much higher and we have to wait, wait, wait. Should start in a few seconds. Okay, the startup time uh, is now about 50 times as high as when the device was idle. As in my previous demo, one may think that this is somehow unavoidable, given the intense I.O. being performed, but things do change if we switch to BFQ. As you can see, startup times immediately drop down to two or three times the average startup time with an idle device. In particular, after a few fluctuations, it soon stabilizes to less than twice the ideal minimum value. As in my previous demo, we can also consider an extreme scenario with many more readers. Startup times become only slightly higher. But if we switch to <coughs> CFQ again, then the application becomes unresponsive. We have again to wait, wait, and wait until <coughs> when we are tired of waiting. we switch again to BFQ and the application starts immediately. We can now move to the second part of the demo. In this part we show the latency guaranteed by BFQ to soft real-time applications by showing the playback of a movie while 10 readers are executed in parallel. In this video <coughs> you will note just some glitches during the playback, but they are only due to the recording of the screen during the playback, whereas the playback was perfectly smooth in the live demo. In particular, the playback is still perfectly smooth even if, to make things worse, we also start invoking known terminal repeatedly again. Now the scene is uh, quite static and, uh, and hence uh, less demanding. But as you are about to see, 
Also in the uh, much more demanding fragment that is about to arrive, uh, there uh, will be no playback uh, problem. And this is the more demanding fragment. Okay, smooth playback. Now, <coughs> if we uh, repeat the same test with CFQ, then we bump into a much worse problem. The video just does not start. We can wait for a while. And uh, as with the terminal, the video starts immediately if we switch again to BFQ. And this terminates the second part of the demo. In the last part, uh, we will uh, show an example of the throughput achieved by each of the four scheduler. To this purpose, we will let only the 10 readers go on. And as you can see now from the monitor, the average throughput with BFQ is around 420 uh, megabytes per second, and it remains the same with CFQ. And with deadline. And finally, with no. And this terminates this demo. Thanks for watching this video.